Hey everybody, Stephen Baldwin here. Very excited to be talking to you today and sharing with you my own personal testimony about how I came to know Jesus. I'd say what was missing was the satisfaction. My life before Christ was uh, focused on making money. My life before Christ was doing what you normally do when you're trying to maintain a career in the movie business. Loving Jesus is what's most important to me. And I know that sounds hokey, but it's the truth. My life is God's life in me for him to do with what he wants. When I got to a place of willingness to just simply say to myself, okay, I'm willing to believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. And I'm now going to ask God to show me what that means. And I'm going to read the Bible and apply it to my life to the best of my ability to have that understanding. That's when uh, this whole experience became very, very real for me. My wife started attending this charismatic Brazilian church service in New York City after we moved back and uh, it wasn't too long after that that sure enough she became an intense committed believer in Jesus Christ uh, as a result of my witnessing that firsthand I, I decided to give it a whirl literally um, not thinking that it would make any difference personally whatsoever um, and what's fascinating about that is it, it was when I came to a place of willingness to walk this walk of faith in Jesus Christ for myself, not the way I thought I was supposed to or just the way that I interpreted it for myself, but rather I said, I'm going to try to do this thing um, as obediently as I can according to the Bible and God's Word and my prayer life. And I just decided I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it my all. What's been fascinating is, you know, like so many of the most simple things uh, in, in my life and in the experiences I've had in my life, um, the more you just kind of follow the instructions, so to speak, the, the simpler things can be. What's scary about this walk of faith is it's really not for everybody. Um, it's available to everybody, um, but not everybody is willing to be obedient to it, and that's the sad part. I mean, so much of the people in my position that I encounter who say to me, you know, hey, what's going on with you, and yeah, but what about this, and you know, I, I just tell them, look, this is just what happened, and this is how I did it, and if you get to that place of willingness to give it a try, it'll happen to you too. Um, and so most of the people that, that I deal with one-on-one -on -one at the Starbucks or wherever just look at me and say, I don't believe you. And I look at them and say, well, you're going to find out one way or the other if what I have to say is true. I'm Stephen Baldwin. It's just, uh, it's awesome. And in a million years, I never would have imagined that uh, that, that would have happened to me. And uh, now for me, uh, really what my faith and my walk with Christ is all about is, is sharing that with people. You know, it's, it's really important in my opinion, regardless, you know, of, of who you are or what your position is, you know, it's, it's really kind of cool and it's nice that people come up to me all the time and they go, hey, dude, you know, you're in Hollywood and you're living for the Lord and... You know, you're, you're being a part of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that's so important. And, and, and I guess that's, you know, probably true, but, you know, I, I can't look at it that way myself. You know, for me, you know, I like just sharing with people the experience that I'm having, you know, and the peace that I found, and the happiness that I found. And for me, that's more important than anything else, is to just be able, I was on an airplane today. I'm back in Portland right now filming this, these segments, and... And it was important. I was, I was on an airplane talking to this guy, 35 years old, surfer dude, beautiful wife, young people. And they were saying to me, hey, man, what's going on in your life, dude? And I started telling him about 
Live in It, the movie I did, and how it's about skaters and bikers that all know Jesus Christ. And they're like, and it was amazing. The husband says to me, he goes, hey, man, that's wild. You know, I've been really spending a lot of time with a lot of these surfers that are born again. He goes, and now you're talking to me about it. He goes, that's kind of weird, huh? And I go, nope. It's not weird at all, dude. I, I think that the, the thing that holds true the most with me is that I've come to realize through the gratitude that I have that I, that I know the Lord, I've come to realize that it's a privilege to know the truth. It's a privilege to know the Word of God. It's a privilege to have the Spirit of God living inside of me and for me to have the opportunity to share that with other people. It's a gift, and I love it.